Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. Please consider subscribing and hitting the alert for all future videos. So today what I'm going to be doing is a very late overdue 2021 planner stack and flip through of two of my planners. Um, one you probably are very familiar with if you're familiar with my channel, which is my budget planner. And it is the Monthly Deluxe by Erin Condren. Um, I use this every single week, really kind of daily, to track transactions, my budget, and my um, walkthrough of my weekly check-in. Plus, of course, it has all of my 2020 information so when I'm setting up my budget on the month, I can always refer back here to the yearly kit and what, my, what I spent each month for each category. So that helps me to kind of figure out the one bills I don't have yet to keep me on track with my budget. So um, this one is my probably my most used of all my planners because it's something that I'm in and out of every almost every day. So that is my budget planner and that is the 7x9 Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe. The next one which is my memory keeping planner is probably one of the favorite activities that I do. Um, I've always been a project life person and I kind of just when my kids kind of moved out it wasn't I wasn't taking as many pictures it was harder for me to do a spread so I started doing the um, memory planning in the vertical. So this is my January month so far. And what I do is I do an emoji each day that kind of is what is happening for the day. I do three highlights of the month. Um, hopefully they're good highlights. Sometimes it's not so good. January isn't turning out so good. Um, and I do catch up on the weekends in my memory planner. So this would be what a spread would look like. So this was my New Year's spread. This kit is from the Coffee Monster Co. And then this one was my week two spread. And this was Sadie Stickers. And this was week three. And this was Right Brain Paper Co. And then um, I will probably today or tomorrow figure out, um, lay down week four. So what I do with this one, I, I have all my kits planned out. I'm going to do that in a separate video just to kind of walk you through my mindset. But what I did was I track what kits they are right here. So if I need to refer to them or if I'm shopping for kits, I look here to see if I already have the kit or if I've already used the kit. So um, this is kind of how I lay out my year as far as memory keeping. And this is the seven by nine vertical Erin Condren. And this is my second year with that one. So these two are more specific. This one is a planner, it's a half letter that I set up before I knew I was gonna retire. And then this is my personal planner that is with me all the time. So all of my notes as far as memory keeping and things like that go in here. And this one is kind of a catch all for everything in my life. So appointments, to-do lists, meal prep, things like that. So I'm gonna start with the personal planner and kind of walk you through this one. And then um, for this one, I decided to do mainly printable inserts because I wanted to be able to be flexible. I didn't really know what my days were gonna look like. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go back to work, if I was going to stay retired, you know, what I was gonna do, pretty much how my day was gonna look. Um, so this is the cloth and paper Ollie clip that was their Black Friday. And then I have three task cards, and these are from Planner Press. And then these are the post-it notes from Coffee Monster Co. that was in either her anniversary or birthday. And I just wrote on them and made my own task cards. So I think now that I'm kind of used to them and I might want to change them around, I'll probably go ahead and print the tasks on there. Um, and what's nice is you don't laminate them or anything, so you can just pull this off and stick that on a page of the day that you want to do that task. 
And then I have my inbox. This one was from Perfectionism Prints. Um, there wasn't a column for completed. I think you can edit this. So I did go ahead and add a completed column so I could check them off. And then the rest of the inbox is waiting on, which I'm really not using that parts as much next someday. And then projects I am using. We were kind of in the middle of a home remodel before the holidays. And so I've got, you know, different things I need to kind of start working on again. We're replacing the countertops. We're painting the cabinets. Um, we need furniture for the guest room. My daughter moved out and that room's just empty. Um, we're redoing the master bath and the guest rooms, um, or the guest bathrooms. I do need rugs and towels for one bathroom. Um, my husband is working on building in a wall unit. We need to replace the TV. And we did get a check back from Samsung on our refrigerator because it doesn't work right. The ice maker doesn't work right. So that's just kind of chilling in the bank until we buy a new refrigerator. So it still works. It's just really, it doesn't work right. Um, and then from the inbox, I go to my month. These are Annie Plan printables. So I went ahead and printed the entire year. I like to have the whole year. And then week, um, this is the one I'm kind of playing around with. I have many different ones and I'm kind of going to walk you through the different ones. So this is an Annie Plan printables and this is what I've used the entire month of January. And what I really like about this is I write down everything for the day, what our meals were, track everything on here. And then what I do is I have this open when I'm doing my memory planning. So I do really like this format. Um, there are days though that I wish I had more room to write because I'm trying to write in a no spend or like what happened. So um, I'm thinking I might change this up and try a new one for the next couple of weeks. So, um, but this one I have really, really liked. So, um, this is a no spend from Little Miss Fancy Plans um, because I always do a certain number of days as no spend and I just try to write them down but I, I wanted something that was kind of cute and interactive that I maybe would be motivated to have more no spend days. So I wanted to kind of walk through the different weeklies um, that I have. Um, this was the one I was originally going to use. This is from Crossbow Printables. Um, because I figured this would be enough room to write, but after using this other one, I'm thinking probably not. It's nice that it has the habit trackers, it has a to-do list. Um, there really is missing a meal part in here, and I'm not sure that this is giving me any more room to write. So that is one option. This one is from Peanut Planner Co. And it's more of the grid. It's the week, the days of the week down here, you've got some extra room here. You've got like more of an appointment type here and then kind of a to-do list. For me though, I write small. I don't know that I could write that small. So I did print some out, but I'm still not sure on this one. So what I love about printables, you can try them all out and you're not investing a lot of money. This one is very similar to the cloth and paper one that I use in my A5. Um, it, there, everything that I bought is undated so that I could use them whenever I wanted. This is from Perfectionism Prints. Um, so this is an option. I think this would give me enough room to write. This one is also from Perfectionism Prints. It has um, the weeks down here. It's a Monday start and then a master to-do list. And I've already ruled this one out for right now. And then this one is from, I think this was Peanut Planner Co. And it has just Monday through Friday and Monday through Friday. So um, I think this would be great if you're working in an office or things like that where you had a set schedule. But since I'm not, I don't know that this is going to be my choice. So I'm thinking this is the one that I'm going to use. So it has habit trackers in the front. Um, you could do a to-do list or a to-buy list. The Monday through Sunday for meals. And then when you open it up, I think this is going to be enough room for me to write. I can put the dates in here. 
and then just make lists of things. So I think this is the one I'm going to try. So I did print them off so I have enough for the month. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in here. I love doing printables. Once I got the hang of it, I think this is the way I go with most things now. Okay, so I'm gonna put the weekly ones away. And then I also thought about using dailies, which, I, oh, here they are. Um, so I have a couple different ones that I printed. This one is from, hmm, I don't remember. I hate when they don't have an, a note on them. Um, so this is a daily plan, your top three, morning, afternoon, evening, a to-do list and note. So I'm thinking about trying daily this month and just see if that keeps me more on track, get a little bit more done. Um, another option is this one. This is from Annie Plans Printables. It's her collab with the Coffee Monster Co. So you've got a big section for the week. You've got some habit trackers for the week and then you have daily. And then I went ahead and put a gratitude sticker that's from my shop, pretty productive, um, because I really haven't found a place to write my gratitude. I've always put it in a separate journal and then I find that between my Bible study that I'm doing and my five-year journal, I just don't have room for like one more thing. So I think I'm gonna try this month to just go ahead and put it here and that way it will be, here's my schedule and then I'll start my day with gratitude when I'm looking at my schedule. So I did print enough of these off for the month and get those ready. So I'm gonna put these under my daily tab. Okay, and then the next section is my reading log. So reading for me could be Audible. Um, or it could be an actual book. These three are audible. Um, I haven't been walking because of the holiday and from being sick. So that's usually when I listen to my book. So I think for now, I'm just going to make some time each day so I can read through um, or listen to a few more books. And then I did get two physical books because I really have not taken the time to read lately. Um, this the Ruthless El Elimination of Hurry is an amazing book if you have not heard about it from John Mark Coomer. He was a pa pastor, I think he still is a pastor, that got very overwhelmed with life and how he took things out of his life to kind of focus in on what was important. So amazing book. And then social media. So it's more about, you know, when I'm going to post and ideas. So I kind of just make notes here. And then some notes about what I want to do. And then all of that kind of planning goes in my Etsy shop book. And then for tasks, um, here's some vitamins that were recommended to me. So I just, some of them I already have, some of them I need to purchase. And then notes, um, this was a workshop I did with for my retirement. Um, a saying when I was listening to church. So if there's something that I remember or something that kind of spoke to me, I go ahead and write it down. And then some note pages. These are from Minted Sugar. And then I have the year at a glance in the back. Um, so that is everything I have right now in my personal planner. And this one I kind of, it's more out or with me and I'm kind of writing in it all day long. Um, I don't do a lot of future planning, but um, I do put appointments in on my calendar. And this is a Motrim, I forgot the pebble pink is the color and I got it from Amazon. It's actually very reasonable. And then this one is kind of my catch all planner. So I set this one up when I was working. I think I said that earlier. Um, this is a cloth and paper clear glass cover. Um, I did buy the cloth and paper rings and they, nothing would move. They, I don't know if they were too small or just kind of the wrong size because um, the inserts are from Tool and then some different ones. So I don't know. I went ahead went with the bigger rings. I think they're too big, but I haven't found anything yet in between. And then this is a planner press card. This is from Peach Palm. And then this is a simplicity insert from cloth and paper. 
And then I have the inbox. Um, this one was from Cloth and Paper. And then I just have some post-it notes here. So if I think of something, I just write it down there. And then this is my master checklist. So you'll see some things from my Etsy shop on here. You'll see some personal information. You see some tasks. So everything kind of gets here and then it gets put into a planner on what to do when I need to do it. Um, so this was January. Um, January, basically, we've had a sick house, so I haven't really done anything. I've had to cancel a lot of things like a massage and a dinner and things like that. Um, but that's okay. We're on the mend. And then I always have a list of things I need to do, but two of these things got moved to February because of that. And then car search. I really... Um, I don't want to buy a car. <laughs> I'm loving driving my husband's car and we have a second vehicle here. So I really don't think we need a third vehicle. I don't know that my husband is on the same page yet <laughs> as I am. Um, I did put notes from when I had COVID just so that if my doctor asked me, I had like my symptoms and kind of how they, they rolled out. So this is how I start planning my week though. Um, this is from Erin Condren. And the cleaning checklist was actually in one of the seasonal surprise boxes. And I love this one. And then on the website, you can actually go in and you can personalize what you want up at the top. Sorry about that. You can personalize what you want right here. So, you know, if you wanted a to-do list or a cleaning list, or you wanted, you know, a work to-do list, however you wanted to lay it out, you can personalize that part. Um, but these are kind of what I start with on Sunday morning. So let's move that to the side. So I do two different master lists. One is a daily to-do list, which are more tasks. And then one is a, a cleaning list for the week. I don't know why I keep getting out of focus. So sorry about that. Um, so let's start with the cleaning list. So the cleaning list is I take all the household hold chores and I kind of divide them out and then I look at my schedule and say okay not realistic to think I'm going to get these done on this day because I have other things I need to do so putting them side by side has helped me to get more done so that I'm not saying I'm going to clean the bathrooms on Tuesday but I have two doctor's appointments or something like that so it just I almost have to see them side by side to really make them functional. I also know that at the beginning of the week, I'm a little bit more motivated <laughs> than the end of the week. I'm more tired. So um, this is kind of how I roll it out. So Sunday is always clean the refrigerator. I change the sheets in the house, wash all the towels, and I straighten up my pantry because I don't know with just two of us here how our pantry gets so disorganized. And then from there, I meal prep. I go to the grocery store. Um, and then because part of my meal prep is to clean out the fridge and straighten the pantry, you'll see it on both sides. And what that does is it helps me to start the week with the right food in the house, but also keeps me going to the grocery store down. So I can just do either a grocery pickup order or I can just go to the grocery store. And then on my daily to-do list, again, it's, you know, like these are Monday specific. These are two things I really need to do on Monday and then on Friday. And then the rest of the days will fill in as I find I need to get things done. Okay. So these I just hole punch with my hole punch and stuck them in here. This is the weekly layout. Um, this one is from Cloth and Paper. They are undated. So I did stick the dates in. Um, I felt like it was really important with me not working and having a set schedule to buy everything undated so that if I didn't need them for a week, like last week, I didn't do anything in my planners because I literally just cleaned and took care of my sick husband. So, um, so when you go to February, here's three things that I need to schedule for February. And then I have just two appointments scheduled, our anniversary, and then... Yeah, I thought I wrote this on here. Maybe not. Um, my son-in-law's birthday is the 8th. I don't really do any stickers in here because this is just more of a functional planner. So, um, so you have all the months there. 
and I haven't put anything on my tabs yet. I like to kind of live with them for a while and then see what I want to do. And I believe these tabs were from cloth and paper, I believe. Um, so this is an insert from cloth and paper, the executive notes. I like that it's just undated. You can just put your notes. My next section is my master lists and then tasks and then a daily schedule if I feel like I need it. This one is kind of a catch-all for two things. One, I write my notes from church in here, and second, if I have ideas for my shop. Um, so this was my notes from church. And then at the back here is my meal planner. So this is the Erin Condren meal planner. It really looks like this. And all I did was I took out the stitching and trimmed it and then hole punched it for in here. So it pretty much fits um, a half letter size. Um, the hardest part is getting the stitching out. I ended up using a seam ripper. I felt like that was the best thing and I tore it a lot less. Once you kind of get it started, then it's a little bit easier. And then um, five, 0.5 is the half letter so you just literally trim off all of the kind of ragged edges and it fits in here perfectly so that is what I'm using for meal prep um, this is my meal prep for the week so this is this week and what I do is um, for years I did HelloFresh and I love their menus but for two of us I really didn't want to keep doing HelloFresh so what I do is I go through this I took all the menus and the recipes and everything and I just stuck them in this binder and they're kind of like chickens together, beefs together, um, pork is together so I kind of can go through pastas in the back so things like that so I kind of just go through and see what sounds good and get a variety and these are the ones that I've decided for for this week so we're going to have the balsamic chip um, chicken so I just go through the list and then I'm like okay what do I need from this recipe um, I needed the Brussels sprouts um, I already have garlic and ginger I have the chicken breast in the freezer so the only thing I needed to purchase for this is the Brussels sprouts now one thing if you've ever had HelloFresh this chicken stock concentrate is in every single menu. I found it on Amazon and they're actually the same brand that HelloFresh uses and they're in that same packet. So if it says you need two packets for it, you just grab two. Um, that was like my one hurdle with HelloFresh on how to figure out that, that ingredient. So, and it's in every single one of their um, menus. Um, so for this one, we're not big rice eaters, so I'll substitute that with probably a salad. I need a green beans, I already have the chicken. Um, you can also go online and get all the recipes for their seasoning. So I think it was called Reddit. Um, I just Googled the sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning and then it tells you all the spices that are in there and how much, so I made my own um, and I just have them labeled. So any of the ones that I use a lot, the fry seasoning, the smoky barbecue, um, I think there was one more that I went ahead and made. And it was a little bit more expensive because you had to buy all the, the different spices to make them, but most of the spices you probably had on hand. So I've kind of done the same thing. I've just gone through the ingredients and I've written down any of the ingredients that I need to buy at the grocery store. Um, so these are what our meals are gonna look like. Now I haven't assigned them a day yet. Um, my husband hasn't been super hungry, so I think I'm going to kind of have all the ingredients here and then play it by ear as he's starting to feel better and getting more of an appetite back on what he feels like eating. Um, and then like for today, there's football games on. So I'm kind of making a um, pigs in the blanket. We have cheese and crackers, pepperoni, things like that. So I'm kind of just making a little charcuterie board and we can eat that while we're watching. And I think it's a good way to get him to eat because it'll be over a time period versus sitting down to a meal. Um, so I already have my list ready. Everything on my list I do not currently have in my house. Um, so when I'm looking at the list for the meal prep, 
the first thing I do is check what's in the house, um, what's in my freezer, when I get chicken breast, things like that, pork loin. I put them into um, the saver bags, the food saver bags, as for two people. So two chicken breasts, you know, a certain amount of the pork loin based on the recipe so that I know I can just grab that out of the freezer and that's enough for each meal. So that part, you know, I kind of do it when they go on sale or buy one, get one, things like that. Um, so these are meals for the week. And I do use other recipes, but HelloFresh, but I tend to like these the best. And I find that they're simple. You can make them within 30 minutes. You know, the prep is kind of spelled out for you. And they're all fresh food. So it's not like you have to really worry about ordering them from HelloFresh. So this is our meal prep for the week. And then I have done nothing on my goals for <laughs> 2021. I think my goal right now is just to get healthy and, and have everyone in my house be healthy. Um, so this is something I'm gonna start working on. Um, I put February 5th as my goal date to make sure I had my goals done. I normally have these done back in December, but again, I took a goal booklet that I had from Erin Condren and went ahead and took it apart and then put it in here. And what I liked about this, it was kind of the goal, why it's important, when you're gonna start it, your action plan, and then kind of your progress towards your goal. So I, I like this format. And then I also had, um, I think I got it in one of the subscription boxes. This is the cloth and paper um, goal. There's two different ones. This was this was in the last one, and I think this one might have been one that I had ordered. Um, but they're both from cloth and paper. So that is this planner, and kind of how I am using that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so this one, kind of my catch-all planner. It's a half letter mainly from cloth and paper, but there's a lot of the tool, which is the Office Max brand as well. And then this one is my personal planner that stays with me in my purse, my tote bag. And then of course, my memory planner. And this is a cover from the Coffee Monster Co. that I ordered through Erin Condren and it's sized for the seven by nine. And then my budget planner, which is um, really um, probably the, if I had to choose one planner, that would be the one I would choose because that's super important to me. So that is my 2021 planner stack. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I appreciate you watching. I hope your 2021 has started off well and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much.